ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் ட்ராவல் டைரிஸ் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த ஒர்ச்சா ஃபோர்ட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் இட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ராஜா மஹல் ஷீஷ் மஹல் அண்ட் ஜஹாங்கீர் மஹல் This is the entrance gate. The fort is surrounded by a huge moat which is connected with the Betwa river to avoid the enemies coming inside the fort. You can see what is called the uh, Sish Mahal. Uh, the green blue uh, limestones or uh, the stones were got from uh, Afghanistan and Persia. And uh, the when the sun falls on it earlier it used to reflect like a, a mirror. so it was uh, earlier called the sish mahal uh, now it's been uh, renovated to a government hotel and it's by the same name it's it's called the sish mahal this is the darbar hall in this place only the light and sound show happens and watch the video fully for the glimpse of the light and sound show this is the seat of the king they followed a system called curtain system which basically hides the king from the public for the security purpose the ceilings are painted with natural colors These windows that you are seeing are a part of the veil system. Queens used to watch all the dances, festive celebrations from behind these windows. You can see the gun holes in the walls that is used for firing. This is called as the angle window. The wind touches the wall and directly goes inside. This place is called as the Rajput Mahal. This place is divided into two parts. ladies courtyard and gents courtyard even now you can see the hooks that used to hang the curtains the steps that take us to the upper layer of the mahal are very small steep and difficult to climb they build it in such a way that when the enemy soldiers try to escape it will be very easy to kill them one by one this place takes us to the basement of the palace What you see is the uh, king's palace. There is the uh, queen section with the balcony. Uh, the, the the queen section and the behind there is the women section and the 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 section before the queen's uh, balcony is the main section. And this building is actually a five-story building. and what you see now you can see the the place where uh, the soldiers and the prisoners were kept below in the two stories below the ground the first story has 100 rooms for the soldiers and below is the prison uh, this palace also contains multiple uh, secret passages place is used to act as a natural cooling system in the small pond below they used to fill the water and hang the curtains over so that when the wind flows it takes the cool air inside this 
this courtyard is for the dance performance by the royal dancers. There used to be a famous royal dancer called as Rai Parvin. This is one of the queen's bedroom. These stone rings are to keep the fire sticks in order to get proper light. This is inside queen's bedroom. The walls are beautifully painted with the 10 avatars of Lord Vishnu. are all the secret passages which leads to the underground for escape. If you notice, all the paintings are side faced because the painters are from Egypt. You can also see the clothes and crown are all Persian types. This is king's room. Here you can see two types of windows. The above two are for light and the below one is for the wind. Can you count the number of human that is present in this painting and comment below? From here you can see the Chaturbhuj temple. This is the balcony. This place is used to fire the sticks from the outside so that the inside they will get the hot water for bathing purpose. This is the rainwater harvesting system. Jahangir Mahal is very famous for its architecture which has the combination of Hindu and Islam culture. If you see the top, there is a lotus flower which represents Hindu and the domes represent the Islam culture. Jahangir Mahal was built in the 17th century from 1605 to 1627 by Bundela ruler Veer Singh Dev. He built this palace to honor Jahangir on his first visit to Orsha. It took 22 years to build this palace and Mughal Emperor Jahangir stayed in this place for only one night. After that, this palace was never used.
you can see the chatris from here the tomb for kings This is the entrance gate of Jahangir Mahal but now we are entering the Jahangir Mahal from the back side This looks like woodwork but it is actually stone The ceiling was made with black marbles The design that is present in the entrance is called as Thoran. This entrance is facing the east to see the rising sun. Both the sides you can see the elephants, Buddhi and Siddhi. One is holding the bell and the other is holding the iron chain. By this, the king gives the message that if you come as a friend, I will welcome you with bell. And If you come here to fight with me I will lock you with the iron This is the animal garage for elephants camel and horse This is the Rai Parveen Mahal the residence of the royal dancer Rai Parveen Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do like, share, comment and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon.